Hey guys, and welcome back to this Let's Play with me, Paradox. Now, we're playing again as the Mad King, Ares. He's still alive, 55. Uh, he could last a long time more. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Um, at the moment, it seems like people are liking this Let's Play, so it's likely I will continue on. Uh, we have, obviously, our Ares, Aegon, but we also have uh, Viserys, who is Lord Paramount of the Iron Islands. I think there's one thing we've now learned is that a family that betrays us, all of their family betray us. That's what we've learned recently. As you can see, we're trying to fight a rebellion to lower crown authority. It's not a big deal, um, crown authority, but these people are betrayers. Renly, Baratheon. Baratheon's betrayed us once before, now they're doing it again. And we let you live, Renly. Uh, we have Tywin Lannister. We knew we couldn't trust him ever since Jaime broke his oaths. And he went and married Cersei Lannister. Weird, weird fella. <laughs> and obviously the Vale. The Arons as well. Just like his father, John the Careless. We knew we couldn't trust them, but we let them live. Now we know. We can't trust any of them. The only ones we can trust are Dawn, the Reach, and I don't... Nope, the Riverlands are not involved, sadly. Oh, no, they're, nope, they're part of the North, I think, actually. But yeah, that's the other thing. We also need to retake the North. Lord Eddard, the Honourable, has managed to declare his independence for the North. He became King of the North. King of the North! But he shall die. Usurper. Again, he tried to betray us once before, and we let him go. Now we know we can't trust him ever again. Uh, at the moment in the battle, we'll win 50%, but Renly does have the Vale and the Westerlands with him. They probably have men left over they're bringing together, so we need to be careful. Uh, if we can just take Storm's End, we'll probably be okay. Seeing as he's there, we can probably capture him. Sadly, there's 8,000 men defending Storm's End, and I only have 3,600. And I can call an extra 2,000, um, and... I'm probably going to have to bring in some mercenaries. So my next aim is to bring in mercenaries. I'll just raise the levies. So we've got to raise some more levies. I'll have to get rid of these guys because there's a big army up here. Well, when I say big, I mean big compared to them. We'll raise the ships here. So we can bring these guys along. So my next aim is to try and get Storm's End. We can just get that. We'll be fine. So I'm going to bring these guys down here. Uh, we'll try and bring these guys together. They can join up. And also, I'm going to try and get some mercenaries. Um, who shall I have? The Company of the Cat. Uh, 3,000 men. That would be very useful. No horsemen, though. No horsemen. Actually, maybe that's not a good idea, then. Yeah, we're not, we won't go for them, then. They haven't got any horsemen. Um, I want a mixed group, really. The Iron Shield, the Bright Banners... The Brave Companions. I could get the Brave Companions. That could be a good choice. The Brave Companions. Uh, Orbello, the Iron Shields. Uh, the Long Lances. Obviously, a lot of horse archers, apparently. But not many men at the moment. So we won't go for them. Uh, the Maiden's Men. The Ragged Standard. And Second Sons. Oh, the Second Sons and the Storm Crows. But they haven't got many men. Ah, the Tattered Prince. I'm going to go with the Tattered Prince. He's got a lot of horses. So that will solve that. So we'll get the Tattered Prince. And I'm going to choose someone else. Brave Companions. Or the Bright Banners. They're basically the same. They've got a bit more horses here. We have a lot of horses already. So I'm going to go with you. We'll go Brave Companions. There we go. So that's our Mercenary Army. So we bring those down here with our 3,000. Plus this 500. We should be able to take Storm's End. Uh, I'm going to go and take care of this little army here. Give Renly no op opportunity to do anything. I'm going to have to be careful though. But this time we won't be so nice to these betrayers. Hopefully, like I say, hopefully the Westlands doesn't come in or the Vale. But they do have a lot of men, I suspect. Uh, I just need them to get the morale up. Renly has called his banners again. 
but I don't think that helped him. Apparently, Viserys sent his men in to die. Uh, not sure what he's doing. I'm going to put it down a bit. Don't want to make any mistakes. There's 3,000 men there. That could be a problem. Nah, I don't think it will be a problem. Who have we got leading this army? Okay, Bale, Bronn, and Florian. Okay, they seem fine. Let's just check. Anyone better than Florian? No, not actually. Okay, we haven't actually got anyone better than him. Okay, that's fine. Uh, once this 500 get to them, we'll bring them down. We have been assigned a new maester by the Citadel. Okay, Maester Wallace. Ah, oh, he's a Macy. Ah. Okay, interesting. So we have a Macy Maester. <laughs> Sounds quite weird. Uh, okay, I occupy this. The Martels occupy this. Okay. So we'll probably send you guys this way. Wait for these guys to be able to come down there. The Dornish just seem to be going back and forth, patrolling against the Westerlands. Which I guess is good. Okay, took out that small army. That's not really going to help us, though. There we go. 5,000. Come straight. Oh, there's 3,000 men there, though. We don't want to really meet them. I don't want to lose men. So 26th of September. Yep, yeah, we get them after them. Okay. And we'll use you guys to cut down any other men. Rumors are a traitor working for the besiegers. Okay, that's not good. So we're going to meet them. Okay, we'll need you guys to get there then quite quickly. So they should move you up. And then hopefully we can get there in time as well. So it's quite an even fight here. I probably should have been more careful. We're fighting Renly though. Hopefully we can kill him. Uh, Galmont and Con uh, Griffin's Roof. And hopefully this 5,000 can get there in time. Uh, 24th October, that's a long time. But hopefully they can get there. We seem to be winning. We're winning on morale. Oh, I'm hosting a dinner for some local dignitaries. When the full moon comes into view, one of the windows trembling, you excuse yourself and hurry up to your stairs to your bedchamber while stripping off your clothes. You're completely naked when the guards find you crouched on the balcony, howling at the moon. Oh, you're just, he's absolutely crazy. <laughs> oh, and here come the Martells. Thank God. There's no danger still. The Lannisters are dealing with the places up there. Okay, so he managed to defeat his army without the extra men. Once they get there, they will then go and take Storm's End. Then again, I guess we should beat Renly first. Uh, so he's going to Bronze Gate. Do you know what? We'll go hunt him down first. Then we'll take it, because obviously we want him to be defending. Put them together. Because we want him to be defending. So if we can go defeat him, that'd be perfect. We can put him into Storm's End. Uh, oh, where did he go? Oh, he went there. He changed his way. I did not even notice. I thought it was a different army. I thought he had a bigger army, not just 300 men. We oh, just got over. Oh! And isn't that a shame? And it looks as though Renly has died. Oh. Let's see if we can find him. Yep. Was slain by Lord Bale of Rowlandford in personal combat. Uh, was executed by me. And was slain by Lord Rhaegar Drangstone. All three brothers killed. Jesus. And now we have a young girl. Far off Baratheon girl. Got a swan. Ooh, she's the only one left. <laughs> and she's been married the patch face. Ah, oh, that is awesome. She's been married the patch face because she needs a husband who will marry her matrilineal. Uh, so Davos the Onion Knight. Ah, is her regent. Interesting choice. He has no land, though. No land at all. That's nice for him. But if she dies, I will become ruler of the Stormlands. So this war could be over very quickly. Where are you? Storm's End. Okay, let's head straight to Storm's End. We're going to take Storm's End. And this war should be over. Okay, 1,000. He's still taking the places up there. Because they're part of the Iron Throne. We can just go and capture her. Oh, I completely forgot about you guys. It's probably wasting a lot of money. Okay, Duskendale. Okay, so things are looking okay. This could really change though at any point. Uh, ooh, I'm going to have to King's Landing, the city. Okay. 
So we need to give the city away then. I could give it to my other son, Jaharis. Uh, actually, isn't there a... Yeah, so Aegon, his sister, needs to get married. And she is a Targaryen. Uh, Aegon married his mother because he's a, a crazy weirdo, apparently. He has some weird fetishes, we'll say. Um, Jaharis needs to get married. And so does Viserys. So I could marry her to Viserys. So we're going to marry her to Jaharis, I think, because he hasn't got anything. Uh, Viserys only has the Iron Isles. Is that more important then? I could marry her to him. It, actually, you know what? We'll marry her to him. He needs to get married. Viserys, you can marry Rhaenya. No. Why is that? Political concerns. He does not want to marry. Okay. I guess I'll marry her to my other son then. Fine then. I think he's happy with that. He's only 15. Arrange a marriage. Uh, let's have a look. Are you kidding me? Okay, let's just go to the marriage thing. There we go. And they get married. The Targaryen way. They're the only ones we can trust. Our Targaryens, aren't they, Ares? They're the only ones we can trust. Okay, and they're getting married. There is no one to pay it. Okay. We'll defeat these guys. Get down there. Okay. Yep, so their armies are based on crushing the Stormlands. They shouldn't cause a problem. Uh, yep, I'm just wondering why it was all checkered out. I thought someone would take in King's Landing just then. I can't stop thinking of all those prisoners in my dungeon. They're at my complete mercy. What a thrill it would be to hurt them. To hear the sweet screams. To see the panic in their eyes. Guards, all up the rack. Oh, Donna. Poor Donna. Okay. Yeah, I will deal with those, uh, the prisoners after the war's over. Oh, are you kidding me? He's got 10,000 men. Ah. He's got 10,000 men. Oh, and I have 3,000 more men. There we go. Okay, that should be enough. Uh, you can go home, I guess. Go over here. We had in command happen to us. Ooh, that's not good. I don't want to be in command. <laughs> oh, and here come the veil. This is exactly what I feared. Coming down the King's Road, I guess. Damn, okay, that's not good. We need Storm's End. How many men have we got in 8,000? Only 8. We've only got 5,000, sorry, men. Defending it. So I've just taken probably the men who were guarding it. Garland, your marshal's terrible. Okay, we'll put Alar in charge. All I did, we're going to put these random people in charge we don't know. Not enough people like us. Okay, hopefully they can escape down there. Oh, it looks like the veil is going after them. Oh, no. 26th. We need to head there. Will that be okay? That's the question. Damn, they came at the worst possible time. I could just get rid of them. I could just get rid of them. Only zero will be able to return home. Blah, blah, blah. Is it, oh, there's an enemy presence. Yes, of course. Yes, there's an enemy in my homeland. Damn. We need... Why didn't you stop them? Paramount Viserys and Dawn. Ah, what are they doing? They're hanging about together. So I'm going to lose these men possibly anyway. So I really need them to get down. Can they escape? No, they're not going to be able to escape. And we're not going to be able to get there in time. We won't be able to get them in time, I don't think. Their, their morale will be so low that that would be a problem, probably. Seventh. Okay. So if we joined in that battle, it would be even, but our morale would be low, I suspect. So that, I'm not sure if that makes it better or worse. I don't think if we join in, maybe these guys can get there in time as well. We might increase the morale enough. 27th. We'll see. Oh, looks like they're about to lose anyway. 27. Yep, we lost the battle. But, they've joined us here. Okay. Let's get our best men together. We do have the best men there. Uh, Lionel, I guess, is okay. Okay. They have more men than me. This is bad. I might just have to bring some more mercenaries in. Uh, I have enough money. We can get the gallant men. Uh, the iron shields. I'm going to go with the Iron Shields. The Iron Shields, I think. 
Uh, we should just have enough. <laughs> We're losing a lot of money. I don't know how long it would take them to get down there. Hopefully it's enough. We'll do it. Might as well. So when do they get the 27th of February? 25th of March. Jesus, okay. They're not going to get them in time. Hopefully these guys can actually get down to the help. If they get down to the help, we've won. Uh, there we go. It looks like we might be able to do it. Ah. An old cotter and his wife, who were known for their cruelty to cats, were found dead in their home this morning, their bones picked clean of their meat. My stewards tell me that local townspeople have had their cats go missing the day before, but all the missing cats returned today looking fat and happy. Pass a law banning all the, <laughs> the killing of cats. Okay. Pass a law banning the killer of cats. Um, okay, so no more killing of cats. That's what the people want. Is it? Okay. <laughs> I think that's all the uh, lunatic stuff. If you have a lunatic ruler, you can do some weird stuff. Oh, since the incident some weeks ago, I felt uneasy. I took a walk along the coast to clear my mind and found a small village where the people claim to worship the drowned god. Oh dear. A god older than even those of the faith of the seven faith. They invited me to join in their uh, rituals and showed me a dusty old grimoire written by a mad drowned man. I must study this grimoire. Okay, I've never seen this before. Is this because I'm mad or is this something else? This is weird. Okay, we must study this. At the moment we're losing, but hopefully, yep, they can get there in time. Intense study of the Grimoire has gained me much knowledge. I have devised a ritual to awaken the drowned god where he sleeps, dead but dreaming in his watery tomb beneath the ocean. The cult has prepared the ritual attire and are gathering the necessary sacrifices. What? What? What is this? Uh, tonight he will awake. King Ares the Mad becomes drowned god. What is... What the hell is this? King Ares the Mad puts on a black robe and wizened... <laughs> and wizened... Oh, a wizened old hat? Tonight he will awake. We will awake the drowned god. The cult has gathered for the ritual on the shore of a black and stormy sea. We'll say it's here in... Uh, Blackwater Rush. The chanting begins. Poonglu, Munglu no fa. And in the depths of the dark waters, something stirs. He comes. He comes. I die. What have I done? I must stop this. King Aries and Mad commandeers a longboat. What is this? I have no idea. <laughs> wait, wait. So he comes, he comes. I die. Okay, let's, let's have a look. What does it say on me? I'm not put on any clothes. Uh, I'm of the drowned god now. What did that? Did that was that recently, or was that because of this whole stuff? I become of the drowned god. Uh, okay. So we can either have it comes. What have I done? I'm gonna stop this. I'm assuming I try to stop this. I want to know what it is. I mean, he is mad, deceitful, cruel, paranoid, stubborn. I'm stubborn, yes, I've, I started it, I'm going to continue doing it. He comes, he comes, and we shall do this. So I've died. King Ares II has retired from the world at age 56. He was offered a, as a sacrifice to the gods. Long live Aegon the Sixth. Yeah, he, he does seem like, he would seem that mad he'd sacrifice himself to the god. 